Alright, so when I first came to the Red Mile, I didn't plan on becoming the champion, but after having one conversation with this Donovan clown, who is the current champion, I just knew that I had to beat him. To clarify, I am on Parima 3, in a place called the Red Mile. It is in the Parima system, it's this planet right up here. Basically, uh, it's kind of like a casino bar type place. There's some a couple quest lines that kind of have to do with this place but there's also this red mile leaderboard and it's the top five red mile runners and donovan's first with 28 runs uh, i'm only at 24 right now but i'm going to finish it up obviously for this video uh, i'll show you kind of how it works and i'll try and give you a couple quick tips in case you want to run through it all and become the champion as well so the first tip to kind of speed the whole process up is to speak to the bartender and actually buy this aid item off of her and it's down here and it's called runner's rush and it, it gives you plus movement speed damage resistance and o2 recovery for three minutes so basically lasts the whole run it's cheap uh, it's excellent to use all kinds of different places so i buy this out all the time and i use it every run to kind of speed things up so buy this from the bartender first of all secondly if you want to kind of level up some perks while you do this um, the fitness perk where you use up all available oxygen 50 times, it's great to kind of do this running thing. Um, you're going to be running so many times. Basically, I, 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 I max it out two times per run, once on the way there to press the button and once on the way back, uh, at least twice. So th it's a great time to kind of level this thing up. You could use some of the boosting perks and stuff like that too, but I thought, hey, I kind of want this. I just want to be able to sprint more. Great time to, to pick this skill up and start leveling it up. All right, so once you're ready to run the Red Mile, you're gonna look for May here. She runs the whole place. Uh, you're gonna have a speak with her. You're gonna say, I want to run the Red Mile. She kind of changes some of the stuff that she says as you win more runs, as you complete more runs. Um, but basically you're saying, I'm sober, doing this of my own free will and ready to go. She says some more junk, blah, 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 blah. And what she's going to do after this is she's going to go up on the stage and she's going to introduce your run. And she's going to say some stuff, uh, then this door opens and then we can go do the run. But as you play and as you complete more runs, she changes some of the things that she says. And also other people around the, the bar, they start to take note of um, you know your, com your success, all your completed runs. They start to say how they've been following your career. There's some other little things that I won't really spoil that they say. I'm pretty excited to see what happens once I actually uh, do my 29th run, what she's going to reward me and what other people are going to say. And I can't wait to talk to Donovan again and kind of rub it in his face. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and show a run here and, and uh, you know, fast forward a little bit. All right, so the door opens. We go down here. It says, good luck. Yeah, yeah. You go through these doors. And you come out to a balcony and you can actually choose to walk down the balcony and go through the elevator or um, I just pop my uh, my consumable here I've, I've got the um, runner's rush saved here so I pop my consumable I sprint and I just jump right off all right and I'm just boosting through the air here we got to get way over to that tower so just gonna see how far I can get I usually land like I don't know about here somewhere doesn't really save a whole lot of time, but I think it saves a little bit from just taking the elevator down. Makes it easy. Make sure you don't uh, hit the ground too hard and like sprain your ankle or, or damage yourself or something like that. Um, and then this is where I'll run out of my stamina first since it's uphill, boosting isn't as effective. So I'll just run my stamina bar out. There's some monsters around that um, will attack you. I stick to the left hand side. Um, there seems to be less monsters on the left hand side. Um, they kind of throw some annoying shit at you that kind of stuns you and stuff like that. But there's way less monsters. Don't go down the middle. There's, there's a lot more. Yeah, they do that. Um, so I save up some stamina. Um, I start boosting and jumping again. Make sure you sprint before you jump boost. So your stamina will actually recover while you're in the air and you can be in the air for quite a while. So here I am running up to the button. You just got to press this thing. Make sure you press it. One time I didn't. It updates the mission and then we go back. And when I go back, I, I take the other left hand side. So 
I'm now on the right hand side from when you first started the run and I don't know why this is just the way I kind of go again there's very few monsters stay out of the middle follow this nothing really happens here so I'm just gonna fast forward through it quickly killing these guys isn't worth it actually they seem to be tankier than than most mobs and they only give like 6 XP so they've clearly nerfed the XP on them because people would come in here and like farm the whole place or something maybe but yeah I just ignore them entirely um, we're gonna run up here and we're almost done the run already I mean that's literally how simple it is it's more of just a time-consuming thing than anything um, listening to her do her introduction and then you having to reset it takes more time than the actual run so we go in the elevator we're done the run we got to run up here we're gonna go in here we have these doors we have to wait for and other than that easy do that 29 times and we're gonna get some kind of reward at the end right she better give me something or I'm gonna be pissed we come back in here, run upstairs, boost over here, oh, apparently grinding the rail, talk to her, congratulations, she's impressed, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, you get 5,300 credits each time, you always seem to get some healing items, and I seem like I always get a gun or two, um, and sometimes you get some like expensive guns so you're getting a lot more than than um like here i just she just gave me this that's pretty badass and this so you get some pretty expensive weapons sometimes so you're making like at least i would say ten thousand credits per run the xp is garbage you only get 100 xp but you're making a lot of of credits and yeah it, i mean it's so simple to do and now to to quickly reset it basically um, you're gonna hit F open your scanner. You're gonna hit G and go to your surface map You're gonna hit R to fast travel to your ship You're gonna hit E and yes fast travel to your ship and Then you just exit your ship and run back inside and it and it resets May so you can do another run um, It's a little tedious to, to like I said it takes longer to reset the run and listen to her introduction and everything like that but um yeah, I mean, I, I was bored. I was just watching stuff as I did this, basically, and uh, I thought I would see what we get. So I'll, I'll cut it here. I'll bring it back to when I finish the final run, and we'll see what happens. I'm about to turn in my final run right now. Beware, spoilers are coming. I'll let the dialogue and sound run naturally from here. Well, there's something that's been troubling me. Yes. Impressive. At 29 successful runs, you've managed to exceed the record of the great Donovan Reese. Of course, now that he's retired from running, your record is looking secure. But you never know when another young upstart might try to shatter it. I eagerly anticipate your next run. But for now, enjoy your prize winnings. So the gun that she gives you doesn't seem like anything too special, but um, you also get the mounted Red Mile Apex that you can build at your outpost. So I will show you what that looks like in my penthouse in just a moment. I'm going to go talk to Donovan and uh, see what he has to say. You're trying to piss me off. That's not every day you, you meet someone... I keep thinking the next runner will live up to my legacy. My mind. But no one's ever come close. Ha! <laughs> well done, that's what I say. I'd say a lot more and none of it too kind, but uh, frankly, I'm too hammered to care. <laughs> uh, it's about time someone took the title from yours truly. But I'm still one of the best. I've just got to share it with present company. Successful So. Enjoy all that comes with your newfound fame. Oh, and uh, feel free to haver on with me anytime. Eh? <laughs> and last but not least, here is the unique reward for beating the Red Mile record, the mounted Red Mile Apex. It looks pretty sick. It's a nice mantelpiece for your house. 
I really hope that this video was helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys, and take care, everybody.